Not only is fish delicious, it's among the healthiest foods on the planet. As a great source of omega-3 fats and vitamin D, fish often has the throne on our plate. On the other hand, however, fish can be a real threat to our health. A matter of life and death. Ask yourself some questions of great importance. Where does all the food we eat actually come from? What does it contain? Fish can serve as either a power food or an inflammatory, toxic nightmare for your body, all depending on what fish you choose. That's why it's so important to pay attention to and avoid the fish you should never eat. Sigh in this video. I'm going to share with you 12 fish you should never eat and what to eat instead. Try to stick to the end of the video so you don't miss out on some guidelines. I will be sharing along the way on how to make a sustainable healthy fish choice. The first fish on my list is imported farm shrimp. Is shrimp good for you? When it comes to farm shrimp, which accounts for about 90% of the shrimp we consume, the answer is a resounding no. In a 2009, Italian researchers discovered that 4-hexyrosanol, a food additive used to prevent discoloration in shrimp, could reduce sperm count in men and increase breast cancer risk in women. Not only that, but one of the pesticides used globally in shrimp production are banned for use in U.S. shrimp farms. Shrimp farm ponds are also treated with harmful chemicals and pesticides, such as malachite green, rotenon and organotin compounds, all of which can have detrimental effects on health. Shrimp are farmed mostly in the global south in Thailand, China, and Vietnam. Another dangerous thing about it is that shrimp ponds replace mangroves and other coastal plants that prevent erosion of the shoreline and serve as an important buffer from violent weather like typhoons and tsunamis. This makes it harder to protect people and their homes, and these shrimp ponds get so polluted that they often have to be continually abandoned and rebuilt elsewhere. Imported farm shrimp comes with a whole bevy of contaminants, antibiotics, residues from chemicals used to clean pens, filth like mouse hair, rat hair, and pieces of insects. Also, Escherichia coli was detected there. Yes, farm shrimp is unsustainable and toxic, but honestly, healthy shrimp doesn't exist even if you can harvest it naturally free of toxins. It is not safe to consume them because they are naturally bottom feeders. If you must eat shrimp, do go for domestic shrimp. The second harmful fish are imported catfish. If there's nothing else to pay attention to, know this. Most of it is imported from Vietnam and was poisoned with antibiotics that are banned in the US, however. Not many people know that what they are getting is a fish called Pangaceous. This type of fish goes for $2 a pound, and it is considered as one, if not the filthiest fish which includes rat and human hair and insects. One study discovered that 70 to 80 percent of Pangaceous fish are contaminated with Vibrio bacteria, one of the biggest reasons behind shellfish poisoning which causes diarrhea, abdominal pain, vomiting, fever and skin infection. This bacteria is the cause of 80,000 illnesses and 100 deaths in the US yearly. Aside from its destructive factor in wetlands and river life, they swim in sludge and waste and are also treated with disinfectants, pesticides and a great range of antibiotics. If a restaurant served you this biohazard under the guise of fancy fish and you got food poisoning, you could theoretically sue the restaurant into oblivion. However, food poisoning cases are rarely worth the trouble unless the cost of medical treatment and time off work have run into thousands of dollars. So anytime you see striped catfish base a sway or any kind of imported catfish on a restaurant menu run. Because obviously, the restaurant is not taking sustainability and seafood safety seriously. An alternative for imported catfish is Asian carp, an invasive species with a similar taste to catfish that's out competing wild catfish and endangering the Great Lakes ecosystem. Moving to the third harmful fish, sharks. Sharks are commonly found on fish you should never eat lists for several reasons. As bosses of the sea, they are very high on the food chain. That translates to higher mercury levels you should avoid in both foods and supplements. But ocean ecosystems suffer too. It's like with fewer sharks around, the species they eat, like cow nose rays and jellyfish, have increased in numbers. And these are eating and depleting scallops and other fish. That means there are fewer of those fish for us to eat, which strains coastal communities that depend on those fisheries to survive economically. What's more, sharks? Skate and rays have long lives and they mature late, meaning they do not reproduce until they are older. Sometimes they are cut up and sold as sea scallops. Plus, if you see sea scallops that are a uniform size and shape, you may be looking at sharks, skate or rays. 
Shark finning is illegal in the U.S., but its practice in other areas is causing devastation in shark populations worldwide. Among the recommendations for shark alternatives are Pacific halibut and Atlantic mackerel. And when shopping for scallops, avoid cookie-cutter perfect ones. Now this brings me to the fourth harmful fish, Atlantic cod. Cod on the list breaks my heart because it's a New England staple, and we all love to support our local fishermen. But while the Atlantic Code supply is slowly rebuilding, it's not there yet. Atlantic Code is a fish species discovered to be vital to feeding the early colonization of the Caribbean Sea. However, the heavy fishing over the last 1,000 years made this fish extinct. Even though the female releases more than 100 million eggs, only a few can survive. If you can't live without your regular supply of fish and chips, which are almost always made with cold fish, you should avoid the North Atlantic code fish and instead choose other white fish like the Pacific code, which has a strong population in Alaska. Consuming code in moderate amounts is safe and generally without adverse effects. Cod, like most types of fish, contains mercury. Excessive mercury consumption can be toxic and may cause neurological and behavioral disorders. It may be particularly problematic in children. If you are a big fan of cold liver oil, be sure it doesn't come from Atlantic cod. Instead, make sure the cold source is coming from Alaskan cod caught with a jig pot or long line because the regular one can contain high levels of mercury. Sadly, poisoning from low-level mercury found in contaminated seafood may have disastrous effects, especially when it comes to a developing fetus. Also, mercury affects the heart of adults in a bad way, intensifying the risk of hypertension and heart attacks. Up next, tuna. Tuna is one of the most popular sushi ingredients. However, when it comes to it, it's better to avoid it. Atlantic bluefin tuna is fish you should never eat due to various reasons. First, because of the high demand for sushi. Often referred to as honmaguro on sushi menace. This simply means bluefin tuna, which should be avoided at all costs. Poppet has been overfished and faces near extinction. However, for the same reason fisheries managers allow commercial fishing to continue because all they want is profit. Second, it is rich in mercury, so the best thing for you to do is avoid it at all costs. It's discovered that. More than 80 of the tunas sold in the U.S. comes from unsustainable, destructive sources. A better sushi choice is katsu. Skipjack tuna caught through Pacific Troll or Pole and Line methods only. For your tuna salad, try tin sardines. There are one of the healthiest fishes you can eat or even organic tin chicken. The sixth worst fish is wild caviar, a mysterious luxury. Some people love it and it's expensive. In fact, this fish grows to be very large, can live to be a hundred years old and can carry several hundred pounds of caviar, which can be worth up to $3,500 a pound. However, we are advised to stay away from caviar because according to Oceana, this type of fish that produces the beloved and overpriced caviar is in great danger. Namely, caviar are completely gone from many rivers and seas where they used to live, and scientists from all over the world fear that it may go extinct. So, if we keep eating it instead of protecting it, it may be gone forever. Caviar from beluga and wild-caught sturgeon are susceptible to overfishing, but the species are also being threatened by an increase in dam building that pollutes the water in which they live. If you really love caviar, try salmon caviar, fish eggs from American Lake Sturgeon or American Hackleback from the Mississippi River. Number 7. Chilean Sea Bass Chilean Sea Bass, the commercial name for Patagonian toothfish, was nearly fished to commercial extinction and are still considered a fish to avoid. Fish stocks are in such bad shape that the non-profit Greenpeace estimates that, unless people stop eating this fish, the entire species could be commercially extinct within five years. Food and Water Watch's guide notes that these fish are high in mercury as well. Popular at restaurants and weddings, contaminated with elevated levels of mercury. This type of fish has a slow development and is not considered to be eco-friendly. Most of them are caught illegally. Most of them are caught illegally and because of overfishing, Chilean sea bass is now in danger of extinction. Finally, the Environmental Defense Fund advises us to be careful with this fish due to its tendency to be problematic because it accounts for almost 20% of U.S. imports and it is plagued by bycatch problems and poor management. These fish are very popular and considered a delicacy, but you can get the same texture and feel with Alaskan sablefish. Moving to the next harmful fish, Orange Ruffy. One of the longest living marine fish species, Orange Ruffy can live to be 150 years old. 
generally known as slimehead within the scientific community, seafood marketers had other ideas for this fish and gave the species a more appetizing name. The end result was a severely overfished species, since orange ruffy don't reach sexual maturity until at least 20 years old. They are very slow to recover. The extremely long lifespan and the late age at maturity imply that a decimated population may take a half century or longer before it can recover. Beyond that, the orange ruffy is also known to have higher mercury levels which can be dangerous if consumed in large amounts. Even if you see orange ruffy for sale or labeled as sustainably harvested, avoid it. Orange ruffy has been so overfished that many restaurant chains still refuse to serve it. Go for yellow snapper or domestic catfish to get the same texture as orange ruffy in your recipes. Number 9. American Eel Served in sushi, this type of fish is on the avoid list because it is poisonous. It contains a high level of mercury and PCBs chemicals. An eel is also called energy on many sushi menace. The great desire for this type of fish leads even Asian countries to look for American eels that are in great danger because they can go extinct. Sadly, if it disappears, it will lead to a disaster since eels are very important for protecting our water supplies. For instance, in the Delaware River, eels are a vital part of spreading the mussel populations who serve as natural filters of water. In certain states like New Jersey, River eels are so contaminated even adults are advised to eat no more than one eel a year. If you like the taste of eel, try Atlantic or Pacific caught squid instead. Imported King Crab, which is the tenth harmful fish. The thing about imported King Crab is that it comes mainly from Russia, where there are no protections and the fishery is being over-harvested. If you know for sure that your crab is actually from Alaska, you're okay. That's because these crabs are actually two different critters. True Alaskan King Crab from Alaska is a protected U.S. fishery that's well managed and stocks are healthy. But the imported Alaskan King Crab is not actually Alaskan. It's the unprotected crab from Russia. When you shop for King Crab, whatever the label says, ask whether it comes from Alaska or if it's imported. Approximately 70% of the King Crab sold in the U.S. is imported, so it's important to make that distinction and go domestic. This brings me to the 11th fish to avoid, farmed salmon. If there is one fish that you should stay away from and never eat it, it is farmed salmon. Sadly, Americans consume a lot of it, and often the unhealthiest kind. Namely, eating farmed fish is dangerous, especially eating farmed salmon, because most salmon that are labeled as Atlantic... In fact, most salmon marketed as Atlantic salmon is farmed, meaning that fish are raised in conditions often ridden with pesticides, feces, bacteria, and parasites. The level of omega-3 fats is lower than before. What's more? Studies show that farmed salmon is more likely to contain harmful contaminants like PCBs, which are pollutants linked to insulin resistance, obesity, cancer, and stroke, they're also often treated with antibiotics and tend to be higher in inflammatory omega-6 fatty acids, raised in bad conditions, and wild-caught salmon from Alaska is even better, since those populations are the most robust. When it comes to flavor, wild salmon is where it's at. As one of the healthiest fish you can eat, it's higher in omega-3 fatty acids, which can help fight seasonal allergies, among many other things, and also packs less saturated fat than farmed. It's also a sustainable seafood. And that brings me to the 12 fish, tilapia. Did you know that in some regards, eating tilapia is worse than eating bacon? In fact, the shift to eating more farmed fish like tilapia is leading to highly inflammatory diets, according to a 2008 study published in the Journal of the American Dietetic Association. Tilapia is one of the most widely consumed fish in America. The problem with that is it contains very low levels of beneficial omega-3 fatty acids and perhaps worse, very high levels of inflammatory omega-6 fatty acids. Sustaining high levels of inflammation in the body can worsen symptoms of autoimmune disorders and may be linked to chronic conditions like heart disease, cancer and diabetes. If you must eat this fish, avoid tilapia from China, where farming practices are particularly worrisome. Better sources are the US, Canada, the Netherlands, Ecuador, and Peru. Of course, wild-caught tilapia is preferable to farmed fish, but is very hard to find. Low omega-3 combined with high omega-6 levels is dangerous for people struggling with asthma, heart disease, arthritis, and other autoimmune and allergic disease symptoms that are vulnerable to inflammation. The inflammation that this fish causes can damage your blood vessels, your heart, skin, lung, and joint tissues, and your digestive tract. 
Moreover, researchers from Wake Forest found that farmed catfish, as well as farm-raised tilapia, contain a fatty acid that is considered detrimental by the scientific community, more detrimental than donuts, hamburgers, and even pork bacon. What to eat instead? Rawi Rockfish, for sticking around to this part of the video. I will give you some guidelines on how to make a sustainable, healthy fish choice. Let's say you're at the fish counter and want to make the best choice from what's there. Choose local seafood if possible. Choose domestic seafood from the US over imported ones generally. Choose wild caught. There are some exceptions like off-bottom cultured oysters or clams are also a very good choice. If it's farm-raised, choose seafood from the US. Even better if it's from recirculating systems, favor fish caught by hand line, hook and line, rod and reel, trolling or spearfishing. Limit consumption of fish that are high in mercury, PCBS or other contaminants. If you find this information helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification button to stay turned on our next informative video like this one. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.